Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi! Today in my bench I have this bar supply, this Chinese bar supply. Uh, it is made for power uh, for powering CNC um, 3D printers and others this can easily produce an, an, a 10 amp and it has the uh, a voltage switch between a uh, 110 volts and 220 volts the production date and this is the seventh month of 2015 so this is above the uh, three years old yeah and as we can see here the model number is s-120-12 so AC input 110 220 volts plus and minus 15 percent the output voltage is 12 volt at 10 amp and made in China of course because this kind of power unit China is the only one that produces this kind of models it's all metal so it is kind of risky and it has this nice grill some models have grills and have a fan on the grills that uh, contribute in cooling the all the parts uh, inside of the uh, power supply unit but this one have not the, it doesn't have this kind of fan so this kind of power supply it is uh, designed and it is installed in the uh, uh, and work as a power unit for the uh, DVR unit so it supplied uh, a 12 volt for the DVR and for the cam for the cameras in order so the DVR it will work so uh, the customer called me and and he said that the DVR unit and the cameras they are no, long, no longer working and asked me to take a look at it so I went to his uh, bar and I take a look and this is not producing any power so in this video I'm going to open it up and see what's the inside of this power unit so let me remove the screws and see how it is constructed and here is the inside of the power supply unit as we can see there is if I just zoom in a little bit you'll see the problem there is a small cockroaches that enter the machine or the enter this unit and insects and other kind of uh, spiders when they enter this kind of uh, machines or this kind of units uh, power units they make uh, in their bodies like a short with their bodies like a short so this is toasted but Curiously, I don't find that the fuse it is blown, but we will confirm uh, after we test it. And I'm going to disassemble this entire uh, unit and see and test all the component and see why we are not getting a green light over here. So, yeah, let me get a power supply or a AC cord and see if they if yes indeed we don't have a uh, power in this produced in this machine and I already connected my DMM 
to the output of this power supply and I connected my test lead, my power AC test lead so I can inject a voltage to the mains and now I'm going to supply it by a limited current voltage through my variac and see will it boot up or will it work or not so let me just okay there we go we have current draw this means that this area over here there is no problem with it I believe the problem is in the IC the, the TL 494 and I believe this is the main cause of the entire malfunction because we have a current draw if we take a look at the DMM the DMM is there is no voltage no output voltage whatsoever however this is a very good diagnostic in regarding when you want to test any power supply you'll have to feed it with power and test the lead at first now after we confirm uh, that there is no voltage I'm going to disassemble it entirely and clean this cartridge littering as they say and replace the ICs and test all the, uh, the rectifier diode and also the uh, shopper transistors I don't believe the shopper transistors they are damaged if they were damaged that the fuse will be blown up and the fuse is working in this case and because we have a monetary uh, draw of power I believe these capacitors are also working so the problem is in the IC and in the uh, output diode, dual diode but I will have to disassemble it entirely and test each component individually so I can make sure and guarantee that this uh, power supply will work and work like it was from the factory so I'm going to turn off the power and disassemble it and see how it goes Ooh. After removing the board from the uh, metal cooler and the metal, metal housing, as we can see, there is something blow up in here and something blow up very good. So this is an indication that the car coach may walk to this area and cause it a short and this entire board is blown up. But, but now the main curious thing is is this transformer driver transformer it is damaged or not or the other transistors are damaged or not uh, so I'm going to disassemble all of these and test each component individually as I said before but this is nasty yeah wow so whoever this is a, a clear demonstration about what kind of the uh, what kind of damage that if an insect enter this kind of uh, power supplies or enter any kind of power supplies what kind of damage they will cause as you can see it is really really nasty if I just zoom in a little bit you'll see wow the extent of the damage it's really extent wow 
so I'm going to clean it remove the part and I will go from there so back on the power supply um, I replaced the IC I tested the IC separately I tested the frequency of the IC and I found a anomaly or abnormal frequency one of the pins one of the output pins this one over here so I replaced the IC and it was the this guy over here if I just zoom in a little bit you will see it is half the number the TL 4000 uh, or 494 I replace it and I also tested the two uh, pre-driver transistors that drive the uh, shopper transformer I found one of them is uh, shorted so I replace this the other one is working fine so I reinstall it and I also test this transformer as you can see over here and the transformer it was working fine so after close inspecting of the uh, or close inspection of the uh, short and why it did happen and what kind of pin it did happen with I found that the short came and uh, came with the output of one of the uh, that feed and control one of the chopper trans, uh, transistors this guy over here so I tested both of the chopper transistors and I found this one is blown and this one is working fine so I replace the broken one and the, it was this guy over here and has the number the MGE uh, 13000 007 so I replace it with a brand new one and I resolder and rebridge by using a jumper the uh, missing pad or the missing wire as you can see so and I tested all of the component nothing was shorted or blown so after that has been taken care of uh, I already connected the AC um, my AC test jack or my AC test wire and also I connected my DMM and now I'm going to power it up for the first time after installing all of these components and hope it will work now I know it will work because I tested thoroughly but there is always a chance that it will blow so blow up so I can I'm going to power it up using my Variac and hope it will run smoothly like I expected let me connect okay okay wow as we can see we have a green LED green light let's check the DMM and the DMM is giving 12.144 volt so this power supply it is working fine as we can see let me run for a while and check of course then I will disconnect the power and check these two tra shopper transistors if they are getting abnormal heat or not so I ran it about two maybe three minutes and there is no sign of heating or everything is running smoothly like I like it should so I decided to install it in its case or in hit enclosure the heatsink dash enclosure as you can see so yeah and I bring my trusty halogen lamp and I'm going to connect it the positive 
let's go over here and the negative one of these and I'm going to turn on the power connect the power yep let me turn on my DMM and my DMM is reading the exact value the same before let me just connect the AC yep let me connect and it has a variac the voltage stays the same as you can see if I connected the load and let's check the the voltage the voltage is the same let me run it for a while as we can see no heating whatsoever and that what you expect from a very good and coordinated parts in the power supply so let me run for a while and see what kind of heat we should get from all of these so after running it for a while I believe uh, there is no heat it is been running up to 15 minutes now and still no heat whatsoever there is some heat some heating in the uh, output diode but it, this, this is normal not to mention this is a 5 amp uh, halogen lamp and I trim this part over here in order so, so I can adjust the output and now the output is 12.004 volt at the max so it's a very accurate voltage and it is finished so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like subscribe thank you for watching see you next time